I know what you're thinking, this is a lot of battle droids and yes, they all come with the set. This set has been kindly sent over to me from Les DIY but all thoughts and opinions are my own. We've been wanting a brick built droid carrier in the Star Wars community for so, so long. And finally, not only do we have one, but it's the best scout I have ever seen. We'll be sizing it up with minifigure scout later on in this video. It comes with pretty much a full battalion of B1 battle droids. And it just looks so, so good compared to what we see on screen very, very briefly in The Phantom Menace. Before I start, I just want to speak about Les DIY. They're a company that sell designers mocks, not only from popular sci-fi themes, but currently they also have a collaboration with World of Tanks, which I think is pretty cool. They actually collaborate with very high quality mock designers to build the sets that you can see on their site. On screen, you can see just a handful of the ones that I personally was interested in, and the site is so easy to use. If you want to pick up any sets for yourself, consider using my referral link down in the comments below and use code MASTER20 at checkout for a whopping 20% off. That's even more than you can get for signing up with your email. And if you do decide to buy this set with my discount code, it'll only cost you just over £33, which isn't far off what the May 4th promo was valued at. I honestly think this set is one of the best brick built sets I have ever built, and that's coming off the back of just building the Ghost. In fact, I went ahead and just weighed this set to see how it compared to modern day Lego sets, which are costing nearly 30 pence per gram. And this set only costs nine pence, weighing in at about 390 grams. So you're definitely getting your value, even though they're using the same ABS plastics. A massive draw to this set, for me at least, as a Clone Wars fan, was getting 28 B1 battle droids. These are honestly awesome minifigures. I also got some spare arms in this set, which meant that I can add some bent arms to the droids to create a custom pilot. However, I can't guarantee that you will also get the same amount of custom pieces. The actual droid carrier itself is really, really cool because if I clear these droids out of the way, you can see that the droids on the side do land on their feet once you open the side of the droid carrier. You can drop this down and deploy up to 14 B1 battle droids per side. And that brings me to the only downside of this build. You see, a squad of droids actually includes eight droids, but you can only fit seven on the side here. But don't worry, if you do want to fit 32 droids in this set, there is plenty of space behind the pilots to sneak a few extra B1s to complete your half battalion. The weapons are stored so simply on this middle weapons rack, which just slots out of the carrier. It is really that simple. It's held on by two jumper tiles. All the bricks here are a high quality ABS, so you're not having to worry about any of this falling apart. As I said, you can stack the droids on both sides of this model, but personally, I think having one side filled and the other 14 droids standing in front is really an awesome look for display. Who's going to see the other side? Not only does this set house a load of droids, but it's actually got quite a large footprint. You can see I still haven't broken down the May 4th promo. So comparing this set with the base of that, it's almost double the size. Well, not quite. As for whether this model is minifigure scout or not, there's actually no length, width, height, any measurements listed in any official Star Wars media, including some of the books. However, it is approximated in one of the old card games that they're meant to hold up to 112 battle droids. So perhaps the back section is meant to be nearly double the size. However, that puts it a lot too closer to the MTT for my liking. So I actually prefer this smaller size vehicle that is about half the size of an MTT and holds half a battalion compared to 0.78 of an entire battalion. It's a very odd number indeed. The actual building experience was so fun and so simple because the instructions are put together amazingly. You actually get a QR code to scan and can work through it on your computer, which I think is the future of building instructions. Each of these pieces come separated in their own Ziploc bags with other pieces, not based on the colors, 
but rather based on the pieces. It's going to be hard to explain, but each of these pieces comes with a different color and different sized piece, just so you can't get confused when opening these bags. It made it so easy to build and I did open all the Ziploc bags at once, but kept them in their piles and it only took me half an hour to build, which you cannot say about other sets. You can see there are a bunch of different connections and snot techniques used to get the shaping of this build. And there are only actually a handful of studs showing which are so easy to tile off if you did want to cover them up. Here are the pieces you'll need to do so. You can see that spot at the front that I said about putting more droids in, I've actually used to hold all of the spare pieces for this build. And the details along the bottom at both sides are definitely my favorite improvement on this build compared to the two that I've reviewed previously. And if you would like to see another comparison including this model, definitely let me know by leaving a comment and dropping a like on this video. I've said that this set was sent to me for free, so thank you again to Les DIY. But what I didn't tell you is each of these bricks was made just for me. That's right, Les DIY make every set on demand, so it takes about a month for them to arrive, but you can rest assured that each of these bricks was made with you in mind, which I think is a really nice touch that adds a bit of personalization to each model. I definitely urge you to check out all the other models on their site because they're so affordable for the size of each of these builds. And if you do want to grow your droid armies, this set is the perfect army builder for you. I've been struggling a lot growing my droid army and this makes a massive difference. It almost doubles the amount of B1 battle droids in my collection, which is crazy to think about it, but Lego only give us a handful in each set. The best set that we've got on the market right now is that early 2024 battle pack, which gives us a handful of droids for £25. For less than a ten or more, you can get 28 droids and I know which one I'd be spending more money on. The fact that these are all built with high quality ABS plastic and the price is still kept low means they look even better than some of the other competitors, including Clone Army Customs and of course Lego themselves. I guarantee you will not be able to differentiate between these two battle droids unless you start looking for the Lego logos. But of course, you don't have to take my word for it. Give it a go, order one yourself. If you do end up purchasing one, come back to this video when it's built and let me know how you found it in the comments below. I really don't think I could sell this model enough. This is an absolute beautiful set and I want to give a massive shout out to David who designed this because they've done an absolutely amazing job. I have a video coming out tomorrow with my whole droid army and this makes so much of a difference to the separatist army I'm building. Check out all the videos on screen and don't forget to go to the description where you can find more information about these sets. Thank you so much for watching and may the bricks be with you always.